welcome to all myself professor deshmukh ms presenting the theory lectures based on the noise measuring equipments so before the starting this case we have to see the what exactly the noise so the noise seen with some typical wave forms okay some disturbance wave form there is no uh, systematic uh, ways of the wave forms okay and this is one of the example of the noise the practical applications that is uh, the aeroplane then again your four wheelers then again the uh, your uh, cyclone conditions during that cyclone the air pressure is exert on the different parts just like here the plant is given and because of this the friction between the plant and that part of the air which create the noise so these are the examples of noise now the uh, noise measurement so by exactly we have to measure and uh, which unit is used so it is simply the intensity of signal sound is measured on relative of logarithmic scale uses a unit called uh, decibel then at 14 bell sound painful to human ear so 14 and 14 plus whatever the sound is there that will be harmful for your human ear and uh, decibel is a unit to measure the noise some noise hazardous survey we have to done for in order to uh, see the level of the noise so first that is identify the sources of hazardous noise that is uh, the recruitments areas or operations so these are the one of the common resources where the noise is created equipment is there areas are there operation that you have to survey second that is the determine the if engineering controls can be reduced or eliminate the noise hazardous if any where there is exist on the noise uh, hazardous under that situations we have to consider uh, the whether it is will be reduced or eliminate by means of any engineer tools or the controls third that is to identify and label the noise hazardous okay so identify and label the noise label means what you have to make the some uh, ranges so that it will be good bad or uh, highly dangerous that you have to see then again fourth one i recommend the enrolled of the personnel in in the hcp so we have to make the enrollment now these are the equipments of the sound uh, level meter decimeter optometer for the noise measurement first that is the sound level meters slm this is a screen environmental areas or the spaces for the noise hazardous now this is a typical Uh, the figure shows that first one that is a sound level meters second that is a dosimeters it measures the average noise level and individual working is exposed over 8 uh, 8 hours so this is the case measures the average noise level and individual workers exposed to the 8 hours this is uh, the conditions where we are using the dosimeters then third one that is octave band analyzer it is used to measure the intensity of uh, specific ranges or the bands or the frequencies in the equipment noise so these are the three equipment you have to use for the noise measuring uh, equipment or noise measurement that is slm is generally used for the the screen in environmental areas or spaces or for noise hazardous second dosimeters where you have to measure the average noise level if the eight a worker is individual worker is working with with eight hours working environment okay and third there is octave band analyzer so it is used for the specific ranges of the bands of the frequency of the equipment noise now the sound level meter that is typical type 1 and type 2 uh sound level meter that is precise precision is good for type 1 while in the type 2 that is general purpose in the field so type 1 is used for where it is a precision is required and general purpose that is a field general purpose in the field okay second that is very expensive uh, type 1 type 2 that is a less expensive that is rigid 
thought that is very accurate plus minus 1 db okay while accuracy is required in this case that is plus minus 2 db 2 db uh, type 1 is used for the active band measurement that is audiometers calibrations sound booth certifications then again used for this screening and environmental samples so this is the comparative points we can say that now this is SLM that is a, the first equipment SLM weighting scale so they are having the two scales that is C and A scale first that is almost all frequencies are measured in the C scale A that is reduces the intensity in the low frequencies to reflect human hearing sensitivity so low frequency ranges A scale while all frequency are measured in the C scale ok and one graph is mentioned here A and C ok the A shows that the low uh, frequencies while C shows that high in the maximum frequencies or we can say all frequencies to be measured if the dBC value is greater than dBA value dBC means what decibel of the C values decibel of A scale values is equal to what noise has a significant low frequency component ok if the A is greater than under that condition that is a high frequency component now first that is the second that is the dosimeter it is a measure for the weighted average ok some picture will be seen that there is the audio DCB exposure projected for the 8 hours again the accountants for the noise and quiet periods this is the, the one of the features of the dosimeter then again only reliable methods for this case and dosimeter worn by employees now the last one that is a octave band analyzer facts it is a measure for the SPL uh, intensity of the sound and in specific frequency ranges second it provides the guidance on the frequency solutions for the noise control third that is available as part of SLM or the filtering the attachment and the fourth one that is a use to calibrate the audiometers and certify the sound boots so this is all about the case so it's quite simpler one noise measurement equipment we can say that